This is Camp Kennedy. Uh, so uh, this is the first, the first hatching you ever had. Yeah. So these are my babies. Yeah, and so, and I like what you said. I read something online when you announced their their arrival. Mm -hmm. That you feel more like a godfather. I do because I I'm essentially the caretaker. I had yeah. nothing to do with with them coming out of the egg and whatnot. But uh, it's all up to now. I'm glad about that. We don't want you to have anything to do, and then people might start talking. Uh, we wouldn't want Beth to get jealous, but here they are. Check this out, and no way. Baby Nile crops. Come on in here, guys. Check this out. This is sick. And these uh, these are the babies from the, the crops that we got in mm -hmm. one first, of our videos. What video was that? I forget what video that the was. The world's biggest That's right, the world's unboxing. biggest animal unboxing part one and part two. And now we have... Uh, the, the great news is is that they've reproduced. They're happy in the new house. Yeah. Um, can I reach in and grab one? Yeah. I, what I love okay. about these little guys, yeah. come on. these are baby come Niles, on. right? Come on in here. Baby come Niles. On. Look at their eyes. Look at this. Look at how beautiful they look. I mean, those eyes are just incredible. So these little guys, how old are they now, Kyle? They are a week today. They're a week old. Look at that. So that is what a week old baby Nile crocodile looks like. And if you look down here, you can see this is where their umbilicus was, and that's where the yolk gets absorbed. And you can really see how something uh, that grows up to be so the top of the food chain actually starts out extremely delicate and uh, really, really cute. The other funny thing that, you know, years ago when I was reading books on uh, alligators and reptiles in general, people would always say that the babies are the exact replicas of, their, of the adults. They look the same as the adult, and nothing could be further from the truth. I think that's bad information because if you really look, these guys, they just have a juvenile appearance. Especially the big one, eyes. Look, at, look, look how small the snout is on this oh, one. Oh, yeah, look definitely. Look how short it is. Yeah, it looks safe. Let's it is amazing them. how, you how they see. vary so much. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, and when you spend enough time with your animals, you can really figure out, you know, the little differences yep. in appearance and even in behavior. It's that's amazing. Really even straight out of the egg, some would shoot out of the egg, some would take their time. Some would be trying to bite me right out of the egg. Others just wanted to be in the water. It's yes, amazing how it they have funny. that personality. Well, the reality of it is, is reptiles, most reptiles lay a lot of eggs and have a lot of offspring because it's a survival technique. Mm -hmm. um, most of these animals in the wild would wind up back in the food chain pretty darn quick. So uh, what are your plans? Are you going to raise these guys up? Are you going to keep them here? What do you, what yeah, do you think is going to happen? Yeah, I'm planning on keeping these guys. Um, a couple friends of mine would, are interested in them, so obviously they'll go to... Uh, to a couple of them for educational purposes, but most of them will stay here. Cool, how amazing. So there you have a bonus video here from Crocodile Kyle's facility. Uh, very happy for you, bud. Congratulations, Thank man. you very much, it's very exciting. Oh, it is very Hopefully exciting. Hopefully it's the first of many. Yes, this is one species down, 22 more to go, 23 more to go. 22 or 23. 22 or 23, depending on Changes who's- by the year. Exactly, depending on who the taxonomist is naming these animals. So there you have it, Nile Crocodile, born here in captivity. We'll see you on another video next week. Take care.